Hello everyone, my name is Jim Penn. I'm the manager of retirement services here at VectorVest. Thank you for taking the time to spend a few minutes with me. I want to spend this time talking about a very important essay that our very own Miss Angela Akers wrote this past Friday evening. And I want to share some of the important uh, points that she made in the essay. Then I want to go into the program and illustrate what she was talking about. So again, thanks for being here. And I'm going to jump into the program and let's take a look at that essay. When I click on the Views tab in the VectorVest program, it's going to take me into our Friday night extended views letter. And the title this week is Easily Beat Fixed Income Investments. And when I scroll down, it'll take me to, in the Views section, the essay that I'm talking about, Easily Beat Fixed Income Investments, written by Angela Akers. I don't want to read the whole thing right through. I just want to touch on some of the important bullet points here. And Angie began by saying, when investors are fearful, they will buy bonds or other fixed income vehicles. While bonds, the most common type of fixed income investment, provide a low risk alternative to buying stocks, they typically also provide a lower return than buying stocks. Okay, so that's one important message there. And I just want to add my own two cents here. I don't think it's it's terrible to be risk averse. I don't think investing in T-bills or the safer bond indexes are the worst thing, okay? But what I do want to talk about is allocating your assets to grow your portfolio uh, in this type of market. The, the question was, can we still be risk averse and invest in the stock market? That's the question I want to address. That's what Angie addressed in her essay, and that's what I want to illustrate for you. Angie went on to talk about making money in the stock market became increasingly difficult in 2021. Inflation soared. Uh, the Fed began raising interest rates. And then she talked about, again, as of her writing on October 20th, 90-day T-bills, 10-year notes, and AAA bonds are at their 14-year highs. And these are their current yields, respectively, as of uh, the 20th. She goes on to say, that's nothing to sneeze at, provides a guaranteed return. But as investors during these difficult periods, we must ask ourselves if it's possible to make more money in the stock market without accepting a heavier degree of risk. So as usual, Angie turned to the VectorVest program and in particular, the trading system viewer. Okay, we believe here at VectorVest that trading, uh, a trading plan is vital to your investing success. And we began the Trading System Viewer back in January of 2020. Uh, Angie talks about the two biggest stumbling blocks that investors face, time and emotion. So what the Trading System Viewer does is eliminate that. It outlines when to buy, what to buy, when to sell. So Angie used this information and she said, I want to find a pre-built pre strategy that's time tested, this trading system that could beat a fixed income investment. So she used three pieces of criteria, an annualized rate of return that beat the annualized rate of return of 5.65%, which was the average of those bonds mentioned above. She wanted a, a, a plan that showed had, that it had lower risk. In other words, it was categorized in our program as either prudent or conservative. And just to ensure that, it had a one-year drawdown that was less than 10%, which is pretty good given the last year, year and a half of the market uh, activity. Finally, she wanted a positive percent gain over the last year. So some pretty basic parameters to try to find these. Okay, she went on to talk about what the trading system viewer can do, and I'll illustrate that in a moment. And she said, I sorted out by annualized rate of return. However, given all the systems in there, there were more than 40 of them, which she said, wow, but she wanted to draw from her smaller pool. She simply typed in conservative in the search box, and came up with a great search called Moneymakers 5015, had an annualized rate of return of 13%, drawdown of only 7.3%, and a one-year percent gain of 5.7, which beat the 5.65 we were talking about. She did the same thing by typing prudent into the box and found these three searches. So what I wanna do from here is go up to the toolbar and illustrate uh, exactly what Angie did. So I'm gonna to go to the viewers tab. When I do that, I already have it set here as the menu. I have the trading system viewer chosen. I'm gonna break this down so we have a little more room. Now, what we have here is the way Angie originally sorted it by annualized rate of return. And you can see all of the searches that well outdid the bonds that Angie mentioned. 
So we begin there. Now we want a little bit of a, uh, of a closer look here. So uh, what we're going to do now is take a look at the specific categories here. And in the search box, I'm simply going to type in conservative. And that's going to bring me to all of the searches within the trading system viewer that are categorized as conservative, or I should say the investment plans, not just the searches, it's the investment plan behind it. And here we see that we have these searches with an annualized rate of return, several of them above that 5.65% return. And then remember the one year drawdown, she wanted less than 10%. Also, we wanted the one year return to be positive. So blue chip dividend payers, great search for generating income didn't meet the third criteria. However, money makers 5015 did. So right here, what we're showing is what Angie was looking for. We have an annualized rate of return that beat the risk averse bond port portfolio, if you will, had a one year drawdown less than the 10% target that she had used. And it was positive over the last year. And then for the time frame that this particular search has been in place, it's up 154% over a longer period of time. So with just the click of a button, we're able to find a, a couple of investment plans that, that may go hand in hand with the more risk adverse process. Again, it's the allocation that I want you to focus on as well. I can also type in to the box here, the prudent. If I slide over a bit here, we'll see only those categorized as prudent make the list here. And if I slide over, we'll see that if we look for the drawdown, I see three searches that meet the criteria, or again, three trading plans. Okay, I'm sorry, I have to scroll back for the screen sizing here. Top VST newbies, S&P winners 5015 and Midas Touch RT descending, which if you're part of our retirement coaching group, you know on our next DEW up, that's actually the investment plan we're going to implement for the first time when the next DEW timing system comes to the upside. Okay, so those three searches, just with a few clicks of the button, I wanted to illustrate how simple it could be to come in here and find searches with only uh, less than a 10% one year drawdown, annualized rate of returns that far outdo the fixed income investments. And then again, depending on you know four or five years, I believe the S&P 500 is uh, closer to a 10 year span, but you see, oh, over time, these investment plans work really well. So if I wrap up by coming into a vector vast market climate graph, I just want to end here that it is OK. Listen, it's OK to be risk averse, given that CPI numbers, commodity numbers, CRB numbers, T-bills, T-notes, and we know interest rates are at the five and a quarter, five and a half percent, the Fed chair continuing to say higher interest rates for a longer period. We understand that. Being risk averse with your, especially your retirement minded portfolio is a smart thing to do, but you still have to allocate. You can't just stuff your money under your mattress and hope to continue to grow your portfolio. So you can be risk averse. You can invest in the T-bills and the bonds and some of the safer investments that you can get easily now, even through ETFs. And of course, it depends where you are. If you're looking at a retirement portfolio, are you five or 10 years leading into retirement? Or are you already in retirement five or 10 years? These are all going to have effects on what you choose to do. But understand, using the VectorVest program, you can do more than simply return the three six-month T-bills or the, or the AAA corporate bonds. Okay, Allocate properly, do your due diligence, use the VectorVest program, and you'll be able to do that. So that's how we can easily beat the fixed income investments. I'd like to thank you for taking the time, and we'll see you next time. Hey VV Nation, you know that we can analyze any stock in a matter of seconds. Do you want to analyze any of your stocks for free? You want VectorVest to tell you what you really need to know about that stock? Well, you can. If you go to www.vectorvest.com forward slash YTFSA, you can get a free stock analysis on any stock that you're currently holding or are possibly looking at. Folks, what do you have to lose? Do that now and analyze any of your stocks in a matter of seconds.